equal to 1, uh, that means x upon x, x is equal to 1 upon x, this x is equal to 0. If I take x as seen in the numerator, it will give us minus x to be the plus 1, divided by 1 plus 1 is 2, and 1 plus 1 in the numerator. Sorry, LCM is upon x is also there in the numerator. Sorry. Because we took LCM x in the numerator, which is minus x squared plus 1 upon x. It is x will come in the, in the denominator. It is 1 minus x squared. Let me write minus x squared after 1, 1 is positive, 1 minus x squared. Upon this x into 2, which twice x. For 1 plus 1 is 2, and this x will come in the denominator. 2 multiplied by x. Okay? Why? Because if something, let me say, a upon b divided by c. What, what is this? a upon b divided by c. 1 upon c is well, It is a division sign. How do you division sign? It will be multiplied. I'm sorry, it is only c here. It will become 1 upon c. Because when we multiply, it will become 1 upon c. If sign of division is there, then it is only c. But we are dividing it by c. When we change it into multiplication, this is fourth and third, or it is third and second are multiplied. This is a upon b into 1 upon c. It will be a upon bc. This is what x this upon this into uh, upon this 2. That means 2 into x will multiplied. This is what a upon b divided by c. Final division. A upon b division sign c equal to a upon b into 1 upon c. And 1 upon a upon b c. This is a upon b into c. So this is the value which we have obtained. This is right inside. Simple. And it's true. We have proved this question number 4 also. Okay, question number 4. We have completed. Let's talk about question number 5. Okay, now question number 5. What did you say? Question number 5 is find the value of this is uh, product sign. Okay. So the 5 is find the value of find the value of this is sign of product here product sign where k is equal to 0 to summation of product sign 6 okay into sign of 2 into k plus 1 into y upon 40 Okay, it is we have to find out what is the value of this. Now, first of all, understand this. This is multiplication, sum of multiplication. We have multiplied number of uh, values up to 0 equal to up to k equal to 0 to 6. So we put k 0. It is 1 upon 14 means pi upon 14. So first, so it will be, let me write it. 0 when k is 0, 0 to 6, that will write all the values. So when k is 0, it is 1 only. 0 into 2 is 0. It is 1 into 5, that means 5 by 14. Second multiplication. When k is substituted in 1, because 0 to 6, that means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 7 values 0. Okay, so when we write here for 1, that means, which is 3, got 2 into 1 is 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 3, 5 by 14. Then again, into sign, I put here 2, to be the 4 plus 1, 5, it is all multiple, 5, 5 by 14. Again, it will be sign 7, 5 by 14, because 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 6 plus 1, 7, and similarly, Sign it is 9 5 by 14 and up to how much if I put 6 here is 2 is 12 plus 1 30 it is sign 30 
14 divided by 14. This will work to be in up to 13 divided by 14. Okay, so let me write that what are these values. Okay, so some values will be 14, 9 pi by 14. So some of them are just going to become, for example, if I write it as pi minus pi by 14, with 13 pi by 14. It is the, this is the last one. And before that, let me write it 11 into sine of 11 pi by 14. Before 13, it is 11, 9. So how many? 7 must be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These two values are there. Okay, now let me change them or find out the values. Now it is how we write it down. Write it, down. it is 14 pi by pi minus 3 is 11 pi by 3. Okay, now let me change them. It will be sine pi by 14, that means keep it as it is, sine into 3 pi by 14 as it is, into sine 5 pi by 14 as it is. Now 14 minus 7 is 7, up to 7, let me keep it as it is this 7 pi by 14 okay if I change the next one for the value of this what we have to find out the values 7 pi by 14 is 2 by this pi by 2 7 pi by 2 is pi by 2 only it is pi by 2 but 7 by 14 is pi by 2 sin pi by 2 is 1 and out only so 9 pi by let me write it as sin of if I write it as pi minus 14 minus 9 will be 5 5 pi by 14 so different will be 14 minus 5 9 pi by 4 that is the same value Okay. into 11 so this is sign of right, pi minus uh, 4 pi by this is 3 pi by because 14 minus 11 is 3 this is 3 pi by 14 so it is pi minus 3 pi by 14 that means 14 minus 3 is 11 11 pi by 4 is written like this into sine uh, of pi minus 13 means only pi by 14 this is pi by 14 now the, this one 7 pi by 14 is pi by 2 this is 1 only sine 90 degrees 1 ok so what do we obtain this is now 9 in the first part because pi upon 14 pi minus Theta is second quadrant and is positive. This value is sine pi by 14, sine pi by 14. Let me write all the value. This is one only. These three values are repeated. This will be the same value sine 90 minus theta is sine theta. This is sorry, 180 minus theta is sine pi, five, five pi by 14. Okay, so that is here. Let me write this is sine, first is sine pi by 14 into sin 3 pi by 14 into sin 5 pi by 14 the three values are repeating the sin 90 sin pi by 2 is 1 this is 1 now this value pi minus theta where it was uh, 14 minus 5 is 9 so 9 pi 9 pi by 14 we have written down pi minus 5 pi by 14 okay which is Okay, this value is this sine pi minus theta is sine theta. Because it's the first second part, pi minus theta is second part. That means which is positive sine is sine. 
this sign phi 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 is 40. Again, this will be 3 pi by 40. So this is again sign 3 pi by 40. Pi minus theta. So this is sine theta. Again sine pi minus theta is sine theta. This is sine pi by 40. So to be obtained. So this is the square of all these. So this is sine square pi by 40. Same thing is repeated. Sine sin square 3, sine square 3 pi by 40. And sine square 5 pi by 40. This is the other value here. Now, pi in 180 so if we write in angle form, that will be sine square only. Okay? Pi by 14 is 180 degree, but that will be in points values. We cannot, we can solve them. Okay, further we cannot solve them, but pi by 14, so we can write only this. Sine square pi by 14, sine square 3 pi by 14, sine square 3 pi by 14. Is the answer here. What is the value of this? This is the value here. Okay. We just repeat it. Only three terms are repeated. So sine pi by two is one. The middle value. Middle most value. So this is the answer here. The question number five. And let us start question number question about fifth question. Sixth question is let me talk about question number 6 what does it say the question number 6 says let me talk about if a minus b and a plus b are positive acute angles and sin a minus b equal to 1 point okay okay question number 6 says if a minus b and a plus b are positive are positive acute angles. Positive acute angles to be the 90 degree. So each of this difference is uh, a p minus b a plus b are acute positive acute angles. Difference and, and addition are acute angles. Positive acute angles and uh, positive acute angles and find a minus b is equal to 1.2 and cos a plus b is also 1.2 okay then find a and b find a and b that is the point value of angles a and b separately we have to find okay let us solve the solution Now here sin a minus b is equal to a minus b let us take here sin a minus b is equal to 1.2 but for acute angle sin a minus b is what have you 1.2 is for 30 degree it is in sin 30 degree so sin a minus b is equal to sin 30 degree because 1.2 is for 30 degree Acute angles difference is acute angle. It can be 30 degree only. And 30 degree from 1 point to sine 30 degree. So we can compare now. Therefore, A minus B, this implies that A minus B is equal to 30 degree. Similarly, and cos A plus B is equal to 1 point two. That is, in case of cos, cos 1 point two in cos is for cos 60 degree. This is going to cost 60 degrees. Okay, this 1.2 cos 60 degrees 1.4. In place of 1.2, we write angle form. If this implies that a plus b is equal to 60 degrees, this is second equation. First of all, a minus b is equal to 30 degrees. If I add them, add it. Is first equation. So adding first and second, first and second, or second and first, no problem. Minus b plus b cancel out. Plus b minus b. This is twice a is equal to 90 degree. 60 plus 30. Adding 49 degrees. So a is equal to 45 degrees. Alright. 
Now, if I did, if I put this value of a either in first equation or second, or we can subtract this and this, putting this value of a in first equation, that means 45 degree plus b equal to 60 degree on second equation. Putting this value of a in second, putting value of a in second, b get this value. In place of a, we have put 45 degree plus b equal to 60. B, B equal to 60 minus 45. Therefore, B is equal to 60 degree minus 45 degree. That means 15 degree. So, we will start that later. So, A is equal to 45 degree. And B is equal to 15 degree. These two are the angles. Okay. So, question number 6. We are done. All right, let's stop. Next question. Seven point. Now, question number seven. What did you say? Let me check it. Okay. Question number seven. Read this one. Okay, question six. Uh, so it says, again, if A minus B and A plus B are positive vector diagonals, and okay, seven question is also of similar type. If A minus B and A plus B are positive vector diagonals, are positive vector diagonals, are positive vector diagonals, then do then so you can find A and B. What is then? Epidemics and something is given. And we are given here that tan of A plus B is equal to root 3. And cot of A minus B is equal to 1. Okay, cot A minus B is equal to 1. Find A and B. Find A and B again of the same type. Now solution. Let's start with solution here. We are given here tan A plus B equal to root 3. Here and a plus b equal to root c. Now we know what is the root c value of 10 in 10. 10 60 degree is root c. It is equal to 10 60 degree. How do we calculate this? Put sin 60 degree on cos 60 degree. Sin 60 degree is root c by 2 divided by cos 60 degree is 1.2 root c by 2 upon 1.2 to cancel out on the root c which is root 3. Root 3 is sin 10 60 degree. Well, it is in tangent, tan of a plus b. Therefore, this implies that a plus b is equal to 60 degrees. This is equation number 1. And what? a minus b is equal to 1. Now, 1 in cot for acute angles is cot 45 degree. Now, cot 45 degree and 10 subscribed is both are 1. Value of both is 1. Okay, so cot 45 degree is simple that A minus B is equal to 45 degree and A plus B is equal to 60 degree. We have to add them. This is second equation. This is the first one. Adding first and second. So, on addition, for adding, we get minus plus b cancel out plus b and minus b a and a twice is equal to 60 plus 45 degree is equal to 100 and yeah 100 and 15 degree this is 5 for 95 degree no 10 105 degree it is 100 
hundred and five degree five. Plus four plus six ten. Five plus zero is five. So one hundred and five degree. Therefore, A is equal to. So in fact, A is equal to one zero five upon two. That means fifty two and a half degree. Complete. In fact, the ten and two to the four. That means one in that case. One point two degree means six. Thirty minutes. Fifty two degree thirty minutes. Or we can add fifty two and a half day. Or fifty two degree thirty minutes. This is the angle A. So angle A is one. We have four angle A is one. Fifty two degree thirty minutes. What about B? Now if I substitute this value, or let me subtract to A plus B. Equal to six degree, and A minus B is equal to four point five degree. If I subtract second from first, will be minus, will be plus, will be minus sign. The plus B plus B is twice B. Here and here again, not minus or plus. After subtraction, subtracting second from first, second from B get this. So twice B, B plus B because B will become neg negative positive in that. Okay, we change the signs after subtraction of when subtracting. So at the time of subtraction, we change the sign of the uh, last equation. This is minus by twice plus one. This minus B will become plus. The plus forty five degrees will become negative. So now negative subtract them. 60 minus 45 will be is 15. Therefore, B is equal to 15 upon 2. 15 upon 2 will be that here. B is 15 degree upon 2, that is 7 degree 13 minutes. It is 7 degree and 13 minutes. 7 and a half. It is 7 and a half degree either or 7 degree 13 minutes. So the other value of angle. A and B. This is the answer of this question number seven. R is A is fifty two degrees and thirty minutes, and B angle is seven degree thirty minutes. So the sum is sixty degree. For A plus B is sixty degree. Yeah, okay. This is what the value of these two angles are. Now. A and B are calculated under the law. Question number eight. Okay, so what is question number eight? Let me record it. Question number eight is now in triangle ABC. Let me change this. In triangle ABC, it says in triangle ABC prove that first. Okay, in triangle ABC, this is important. Triangle. In triangle ABC, prove prove that there are two parts of this question. A A part is prove that for the A part, so there are three three parts of ABC. A part is cos A plus B plus cos sorry. Plus cos of C angle is equal to zero. This will be put. This is the first part. We will take the first part. This should of writing all the three first and writing one by one. So this is the first part. Okay. Let me first do this. Now we are trying with A B C. Suppose this is the triangle A B C. Any triangle. Some of these three angles A B C. We know that. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to one eight three degrees, or pi. This is equal to pi. Or equal to pi we write. Therefore, A plus B is equal to pi minus C. We take C to that side. It is pi minus C or one eight three degrees minus C. No problem. Therefore, if I find cos of this, therefore cos of A plus B is equal to 
Correct cos cos on both sides. This is 5 minus 6. Cos a plus b is equal to This is cos a plus b is equal to plus cos 5 minus theta or 180 degree minus theta is in the second quadrant. But 5 minus theta, 180 degree minus theta is in the second quadrant. The second quadrant cos is negative. It is minus cos theta, minus cos c m. Because cos minus pi minus theta is minus cos theta. This is minus cos c. It is negative. Because in second quadrant cos is negative, sine and cos are positive. In second quadrant, all the students do positive. Then, so in place of cos a plus b, we can write minus cos c. You have to write here minus cos c. So, left hand side, let me write here. Left hand side is equal to cos a plus b plus cos c. So, what we write cos a plus b is equal to this minus cos c. This is minus cos c plus cos c. Both are cancelled out. It will give right hand side. And so, this is the first part. Question number two. Eight. First part of this we have to in a triangle ABC we have to prove this. What is second part? Let me write second part. There are three parts of this question. In the second part we have to prove B part it says that prove that cos A plus B upon B. Cos A plus B upon 2 angle is half is equal to sin of c by 2 ok let me now take this what do we see here if I write a plus b plus c is equal to pi if I divide it by 2 that means pi by 2 half of this whole angle is pi by 2 I mean uh, half of all these three angles some of all these channels of half of that is but I have 90 degree under 20 if I write a plus b separate them is equal to 5 by 2 minus c by 2 if I take this c by 2 to that side if I separate them a plus b upon 2 I have separated c by 2 I have taken to that side so if I take cos of them so cos of this value f of cos of a plus b upon 2 equal to cos of this value pi by 2 minus c by 2 now this is in the first part 90 minus theta cos 90 minus theta it is sin theta why because cos becomes sin sin becomes cos in place of 90 minus theta 90 plus theta we write sin cos cos sin 10 cos cos 10 and set cos set cos set set that is it. This is sine positive value, sine c by 2. Well, in place of theta, we have c by 2. Pi by 2 is 90. It is sine c by 2. So in place of cos a plus b by 2, we can write sine c by 2. Therefore, this cos a plus b will be. Left hand side we have taken here. Left hand side is cos of a plus b upon 2 and which is equal to. This we have proved here since this therefore this is the sign of c by 2 proved this is right hand side we just we have substituted this value right hand side is this is the second part of question number 8 ok so this is question number 8 second part now let me take triangle it did not third part of this question now this third part of this question I'm going to say A, B, C A, B, C A, B, C and to clockwise now question number it's third part C C part is tan A plus okay tan of A plus B by equal to B of the full we need to put cot c by 2 again we write down a plus b plus c which is going to be pi or 180 degree or a plus b plus c if I divide it by 2 it will become pi by 2 therefore c by 2 if I take that side 